right, this is Jeff at Quadrocopter, and today we have a new product. This is the FreeFly, the adjustable camera rail. So this is the components you get. This is a quarter 20 going into your camera. You'll also need a 5 32nd hex wrench to screw that in. The actual rail that will go on the camera right now, we have one on our Red Scarlet. And this is the other part of the assembly. This with the boom clamps goes on to, well, this is actually top mounted. So that'd be the top boom, clamp that down. And the way this works is you'll actually fasten the camera with this quarter 20, slide it in the rails. And this is a 2.5 hex wrench and you will tighten these screws which will clamp it down so the camera doesn't slide. And where this is gonna be beneficial is when adjusting your forward and aft CG of your camera. So we'll just put this over here. So once again, I mounted this on the Red Scarlet. The one adjustment I had to make is there's a plastic piece that sits flush on the top of the camera and the venting holes has a little bit of a, a raised scoop hood. Um, I just got rid of that, I just had to, take one, two, three, four bolts out, remove that, and now this sits flush. Another thing that I did was I put a couple strips of gaffer tape on the top of the camera. So I've noticed a lot sometimes with the, the slippery surface, these rails will actually slide. Put a piece of gaffer tape, it's not gonna go anywhere. Um, so anyway, and once again, 532nd, got this nice and tight on the camera. So we have this assembly already installed on, this is our Sinistar 360. So now what I'm gonna do is just slide that in the rail. And I'm just going to, I'm not gonna tighten these four bolts, but I'm just going to get them a little bit snug so I can still adjust fore and aft, but I don't want it sliding around. So now I'll just take my belt off, my tilt, and I'll just slowly adjust that. And what I'm looking for is the center of gravity so it'll balance. Oh, and one more thing. Let's take off our lens cap, and also we'll make some adjustments on the lens. I'm gonna set this at infinity, and I shoot this at about well, with this sensor, I'm going to adjust it to about there. That's going to be about a 28 equivalent. Um, what happens as you change your focus and your zoom, there's actually some glass elements that move back and forth. So just kind of preset that. Um, and I'm just going to slide this around and find out where it balances. And... It's kind of in between. So I'm gonna call it good right there. That's actually pretty decent. All right, so now I'm just gonna take my two and a half millimeter hex wrench, snug these up. Now it's going nowhere and I'll put my belt back on. So now we are all ready to go. This is now centered on its, um, the center of gravity of the camera. And one more item that we're gonna be featuring in the shop is these new um, adjustable tilt bars. Um, the old version, which I have over here. This is the old version. It only had the adjustable slider on one section. What Tab at the Free Fly headquarters has actually done is put that on the top and the bottom. So you're gonna get quite a bit more vertical adjustability on your tilt. Um, this is probably gonna be beneficial for your taller cameras, your Canon C100, 300, or C100, 300s, and 500s, just the stuff that sits higher where you need more altitude, well, you just need more elevation to lift that camera up higher. Um, so anyway, um, and the way that works is you get one, two, 
three, <clears throat> four of the carbon tilt bars. Um, you're gonna get one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight of the um, bolts. They're actually gonna be a little bit longer. And you're gonna get some dog bones that um, the bolts will fasten into to clamp it all down with the recessed nuts. So um, yeah, it's nice. You can pretty much just take your 2.5 millimeter hex wrench and adjust it all from the front and get your height to where you want it. And where that is gonna come into play is when you are setting your roll balance. You wanna make sure that the camera balances on the, well, it's level. And also if you tilt it off to its side, it also will stay in that position. So yeah, those bars will come in handy for that for the larger cameras. Um, all right, so that is once again, the adjustable tilt bar. And once again, the adjustable camera rail. And yeah, you'll find that in the shop at quadrocopter.com. Um, just look for the adjustable camera rail and the adjustable tilt bars, and that should do it. This is Jeff at Quadrocopter. We'll see you soon.